Toastmasters. It's been a while since I've been up here, and uh, it's good to see everybody. And definitely, as Manesh was saying, that would be nice to see even more. But uh, again, the topic of my talk is making the most of these five minutes. And as we all know, we are in recessionary times. There are many people without employment, without jobs. There are many people who are in search of jobs. And one of the steps in, in, in looking for a job is the interview. The resume, as they say, gets you into the door. The interview is the time where you sell yourself. Some people, however, feel some anxiety when you know, they begin to think about going in for an interview. Some people do. Possibly even many, many individuals do. One of the ways to cope with that anxiety is to learn more about the interview process. And that's the topic of my talk here today. What I'd like to do is talk more in regards to preparing for the interview, as well as two different approaches in terms of interviewing for a job. In order to prepare for the interview, what's important is, to, of course, to be familiar with one's resume and be ready to talk about that. Be ready to talk about one's current position as well as past positions, addressing key responsibilities and what, and what you accomplished. Also, what's needed is to find out what are the experiences and skill levels and qualities that are needed in order to perform the job that you're interviewing for well. And in order to do this, one needs to take a look at the job description, one needs to look at specific job objectives, one needs to look at maybe problems that the company is facing. So in other words, not, not being shy in terms of what it is that you're re requesting. The next step in compa is comparing one's own qualities and skills with what it is that the company wants. So in other words, one needs to pursue that. One needs to inquire about that. And that's important because of the fact that I mean, it's important to be aware of one's own strengths and growth areas so as to better match up with what the employer is in search of. The best single predictor of future job success is past job success. So in other words, being ready to talk about what it is that you accomplished in your prior jobs. Having a positive approach and being self-assured is also very important during the interview process. It's important to take a look at what it is that you, that you can contribute to the employer. Going to close work associates, going to family, asking them what your greatest qualities are helps out in being aware of your positive points. Finally, another way to prepare for the job is to go to various resources that have questions that the interviewer may, may be asking, and then going over your responses before the interview itself so as to be aware of being ready for any type, type of question that you might be faced with. There's different approaches in terms of interviewing for a job. What I'd like to do is I'd like to focus on two of them. The first approach is called the traditional approach, or as some refer to it as the status, status quo approach. It's basically looking at the existing job, it's looking at the existing responsibilities of, of that job. So in other words, little thought is given to the future requirements of the job position or where it is that the employer wants, wants to go with that job position. There's really no competitive edge to this method because most of the people are using it. If you want to set yourself apart from the others and cause some excitement during, during the meeting, then what I'd like you to do is, is to do something different, which leads me to the second approach. Or during this approach, it's important to understand what's important to the employer, understanding what the employer's hot buttons are. And then in let's say the first five minutes or so during the process of trying to understand what is important to the employer, it's then selling your skills. Showing the employer what is important <coughs> and how you can help them, them out in a job.
composition. One author from my research, Richard Beatty, stated, quote, the interviewee needs to know where the employer is headed and what new challenges will be faced, what changes are important that they want to occur, unquote. So in other words, you can focus on helping the employer achieve the change that they want or positioning yourself to be the one who can help the company realize their future goals. And as the same author stated, quote, knowing what the company considers to be important provides the interviewee with much greater self-confidence during the interview process. It allows the candidate to participate in the interview discussions in a far more meaningful way, unquote. I used the five minute interview when I was interviewing for my current job position as the administrator at Columbia Center. There were over 100 people who had applied for the job. Five of us were chosen to the interview. And the search committee had stated at, at, afterwards that they found that my interview was unusual in the fact that what I was doing was basically in, interviewing them interviewing them in terms of what the job was about, finding out what their objectives were, goals, things that need, needed to be solved. So the success of the five minute interview involves knowing what questions to ask, knowing when to ask those questions, and knowing what question or what and when and how, in other words. Without answers to, to these questions, in the very beginning of the interview, hopefully within, let's say, the first five minutes, one could then be totally at the mercy of the in in interview world and not really taking control of the in interview itself. If you'd like to find out more about that, the title of the book, one, one of the books that I read, but the book that I'm referencing here, is The Five-Minute in in Interview by Richard Beattie. Thank you.